Okay guys, I'm about to do another speech. And uh, what you see in front of me is my total gym and I'll be working out on that sometime today for you guys. And let's see what happens here. I hope I can say this speech without stumbling. Whatever it is, it is, so we'll, we'll see. Okay, this is the leader of Cicada. You know, writing a thousand speeches like I have done in my career is not as easy as you might think. So what I am going to do is a little bit different this time. Instead of a speech, I'm just going to review some of the things that I have been discussing and share some of the news that has happened recently. It really has been very exciting. You guys have heard a lot of my speeches already, starting from when I ran for president the first time with absolutely no attention, but I did gain respect with Evanston Community TV. And I scared the shit out of David, the producer, and on my first speech, they went live at midnight. There was a huge electrical storm that was so scary, I thought it was the devil doing it to stop the show, but it aired anyway. Then when I made my second attempt, I went with Can TV when I ran for governor of Illinois, and I got a lot more attention, more than I ever dreamed about. I had no idea that the general and Melania was watching me even back then. But then I found out about how corrupt the world was when Can TV failed to fulfill their contract and make me owner when they promised to do so. Then I solved the cicada puzzles, which was a lot more than I bargained for. Since then, reality has never been the same. I was asked to destroy Daniel, and I soon began to like the man. And now I'm sorry I destroyed him, for now, I might have to fight Joe in a boxing match. The poor man does not even know his own name. Now, and Harris thinks I would make actually a, a better president than Joe. Even though I know Harris meant that as a compliment, that is actually an insult. But of how stupid Joe is actually now. He may have been once loved, and respected, but not now, and the presidency should not ever be rewarded because of back records. What Joe did not realize is that the reason Joe's staff wanted him to be president is so they could walk all over him, or Congress could. One woman for this country understand that age has its limits and that too much experience it's not necessarily a good thing after all. I found out after I imitated Donald's voice saying he endorsed me, I saw that he had deleted three million votes. That right there was enough to make Joe win the election over Donald. Did my sister thank me? No, she did not. She still doesn't believe that I am talking to Melania Gerber or the real General Patton. My mother is a little bit better with it. They think it's all too far-fetched, and I almost agree. How the heck can one person solve the most difficult puzzles in the universe? How can I see a UFO a mile across and then be stupid enough to chase it down? without thinking about the consequences of it all. What was I going to do when I caught them? It, it was the same with solving the puzzles. I set traps for things that were so, too crazy to even imagine. I found it fun thinking I had all the power in the world to be able to destroy someone in a blink of an eye. That was all an illusion of the puzzles that it brought me. Fear became my strength and power, and I soon won the friendship 
and the military doing bluffs. Imagine one man taking control of a country from his basement apartment. But with that said, I proved my loyalty to the general and my courage. I saved Air Force One and my best friend and the people aboard. I am sure glad I did not actually believe it was real or knew the exact situation. I was as terrified as the general was, even after he told me how serious the situation was. I was in panic mode, and I said I cannot lose my best friend, not now. A friend I haven't even shaken hands with, or have heard his voice, but that didn't, didn't matter. Anything we talked, that did not ma mean anything. We talked enough and tested each other's bravery enough to know what true loyalty is to one man. The general has seen much more than what I, I have ever faced. I never truly seen battle. I used creativity to do my battles. I never wanted to grow up and learn that there are people starving to death or people like Chris, who are void, or how Congress does not care, or all they see is what they want to see, and to punish anyone who loses control, even for a minute, out of the day, when they don't understand what starvation or loneliness is like. We have now landed a helicopter on Mars for two-way communication with a real purpose to contact alien life. When the general told me they were co contacted by a man from the Arturian race that he wishes to put a message in the rover for all to hear. The general was not sure how to handle that, so he came to me to make statements to the world and to my Arturian friends. I don't know what to say about that. I am a living example that the aliens do exist, who I am now one and the same. I was born in Chicago, yes, so I am still eligible to be president, but why do I want that now? With all the world laughing about all the childless games we are playing, and each president is either in jail or does not remember his own name. The human race are wonderful people. They understand about love and compassion, with the exception of the United States. However, that too can change under the right leadership. We are a peaceful, loving race, with the exception of one fact, that we grew up too fast, and now things are out of hand. And we need things, we now need things to believe in. I was a coward and never wanted to grow up. I was a weakling with anger issues and disability, but also with insight and gifts. The Arcturians took me in, and over 10 years of patience, they too understand what love was. Humans are yes, me and cruel, but they have love and compassion if treated properly. And that's why I never give up hope, and we can all learn from one another. If it were not for my corrupt, for corrupt and immoral people like my sister, I would have never gotten this far. Even though I love her, I hate her guts, and each and every one of us understands that we have friends just like that. People like Chris, who are void, all their lives, but boy does have a purpose. It made Chris into a poet that can help others survive and grow. We all need each other throughout the universe, and if I can survive, we are ready for it, but not all at once. It has to be done slowly. I am willing to support alien life everywhere with the understanding that there is always good people and evil people till they understand, and aliens are no different. 
With what I understand is that the technology survives for those who can accept it. But those who cannot will always ignore, and therefore all are welcome. <laughs> to the authoritarian race, I understand and accept and know that even though you, your appearance is different, it is all the same, and people fear only what they don't understand. The telepathic communication is the way of life, but only if you allow it to be. You can never destroy, but only influence the corrupt. We understand how to help and never destroy. That is never the way in the majority of life everywhere. Whether or not human or alien or male or female, those are only human words. of non-existence. What I would like to do is to read Chris's new poem. This is why we need to save all humanity, so, something that Congress does not understand. We are to honor the Daniels who were aboard Air Force One. We have to honor Chris as well. To Congress, we plead with you to stop and think about it for the moment about what it is to be human and part of humanity. What Chris wrote here is what every man and woman should be fighting for throughout the universe. This is why I hate our country, which Congress does not understand and are too stupid to realize the beauty of this poem. Only the universe does. Thank you, Chris. You are the hero of this country for writing this perfect poem. I don't deserve such loyalty. The poem. Poem for David by Chris Cross. Listen with a knife failing. I am saying thank you. I am stopping on the bridges to help out from the railings. I am running out of the glass rooms with my mouth full of food to look at the sky and say thank you, Cicada. Save me from the brick, stopping me from going into the drink. I am standing by the water, thanking you, standing by the windows, looking out in all directions, back from a series of hospitals, back from a mugging after funerals. I am saying thank you after the news of, of the dead sight, the dead weather, or not they do, you, we are saying thank you, David, brought me to the light and gave me new sight over telephones. I am saying thank you in doorways and in the back of cars and in elevators, remembering wars and the police at the door the beating on stairs. I am saying thank you in the banks. I am saying thank you in the faces of the officials and Biden and Trump and all in a fall will never change. I go on saying thank you, thank you, David, with the animals dying around us, taking our feelings. I am saying thank you with the forest. They, following faster than the minutes of our lives. I'm saying thank you with the words going out like cells of a brain with the cities growing over us. I'm saying thank you faster and faster with nobody listening. I'm saying thank you, thank you. We are saying and waving dark though it is great in That is what we are fighting for, General, is to say thank you throughout the universe. People like Chris have just as much rights to live and fight, just like Joe does, for Joe does not understand and he too will end up like Chris. But with no one to love, you will die of loneliness, just like Congress will, will unless we get help from outside. We have tried love and hatred and tried to show fear. But Congress is fearless and the devil 
itself and it's time to take control. Now our, our only hopes are like the poems Chris, work, Chris wrote and worked. But it, if all else fails, that corruption is indeed the only answer. The way, the way we should come forward is to finally defeat Congress. We can no longer wait for the starving to stand up and fight. But the starving can no longer survive. For Congress has seen to that. It is always a dollar short and a day late when one does not understand humanity. So Joe, you wish to learn that you are strong. I will be slowly introducing my exercise program to you live on Twitch and my website. You cannot even take on a 90 pound weekly like myself was, was Joe. You started, you stated anyone that you can take on anyone. Let's see you pass the military training course. The odds would be a million to one if you could even find a wall, let alone climb it. I challenge you, Joe, for all the starving people in the world. Let's fight in a boxing ring. We can set a safe regulations if you so desire. Winner takes all. If I beat you, I will become president like I should be. You have the courage. I doubt it. I love humanity, Joe, and I cannot hurt a fly, but I will make an exception with you. Then after you, after you, I take you on, I will take Congress on, one by one. We can wait no longer. Good luck, Joe.